Hey guys, how are you doing today? So I'm going to show you how to make a really nice, quite simple lasagna, because who doesn't like a lasagna? Um, yeah, that's about it really. It takes an hour and a half to sort out, which of course, there's enough time to carry on supping. But yeah, let's get straight into it. I'll show you the ingredients and yeah, let's go. Okay, so not too many ingredients. We've got fresh mozzarella, a nice strong cheese, cheddar cheese, a very condensed beef stock, four fresh pasta sheets, salt, pepper, tablespoonish of tomato puree, some mixed Italian herbs, a garlic, an onion, a red wine, of course, a tin of chopped tomatoes, 300 grams of cottage cheese and 500 grams of good quality mince and that's it. It's nice and simple. So the first thing we're going to do is fry the beef off. Once we've done that, chop the onion, garlic, put that in, fry it off with it so there's not too much fat that needs draining off. And then put the red wine in and let it reduce down. Yeah, that's about it. So you've added your onion and garlic and you're letting it cook away then, soften. Before you add your wine, um, put your oven on, 180. One thing you guys might have noticed is there's no bitumen sauce here. I'm doing something different and you'll see what that is, but it's nice. So as that reduces down as well, next step, add your tomato puree, add your stock, and then in with the tomatoes on top. Leave it 10, 15 minutes to boil away. Bit of salt and pepper season, some, some of the fantastic Italian herbs on there and just yeah leave that 15 minutes so as you're doing that put a hot pan on for your pasta a bit of salt perfect so it's been 10-15 minutes taking it out put it in a bowl to rest I'm just going to do my pasta once I've done that we're basically going to put it all together I'll show you how we do that in the oven 40 minutes perfect one thing I will say which I'll show you is ladle a bit of sauce out Put it at the bottom of your dish and then put the pasta on first this just stops it sticking makes life much easier just get your dish get a ladle just put a bit of sauce at the bottom there once you've got your first layer of pasta in which you've chopped to size good ladle full of mincemeat flatten it down next bit of pasta on well, for me, this is where things get interesting. Nice layer of cottage cheese. Another piece of pasta. And another dollop of mince on top. So once you've done that, another layer of the cottage cheese. Great cheese on top. Some fresh mozzarella. Some Italian herbs. Some salt. Some cracked black pepper. And that's it. We're done. So that's it, guys. They're now in the oven. Take... 40 minutes or so, um, while that happens I'm actually going to make some fresh garlic bread, maybe show you a recipe on that another day, um, just relax and yeah, wait for the magic to happen. This recipe is for about four people, or four lasagnas, uh, depends how big you make them of course, but yeah, sit back and enjoy.